So here I am in my signage resource room, and I just wanted to show you how you would use resources like these arrows. So first what you'd want to do is come and you'd take a copy. So just click on it, more, take a copy. And then you remember what it's called. Uh, you can scroll over them to see their names, and you can change these names after you've copied yours. So then what I've done is I've drug one out over here. It's always good to have a blank one so you don't have to mess with the, the edited versions. Now with this, you go up and you select face because this is multiple textures. And there's the texture of the face you want to edit. Now all I did was pull up a word processing program, typed something out in nice big bold, then I took my snippet program and I took a picture of it, you know, new. And this is a long arrow, so I did it kind of long like this, kind of that I would fit the space. And then I saved it, okay. And then after I did that, you click on this. This was blank, and then you go to local, and I clicked add. It popped up. I went down here, found social. These are all different. Clicked on it, opened it. I can cancel it because it's already been uploaded. Then I clicked it, and this is important, I uploaded it for, for zero KC, and it'll say, you know, upload zero KC. I clicked on that, so it's already uploaded. Then what I want to do is I want to switch to inventory, or else the texture will disappear. And then I want to find social in my inventory and use that instead within the inventory, not within local. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and Stop editing it. No, oh, actually, no, I want to change the name. I want to do, let's do signage with arrow. And of course, out in the lobby, they're all gray. So we're going to go dash gray social. And then something else, because these ones out there are not, out in my lobby are not green. They are gray. So I go back to texture. Make sure I select face. Click on this circle, click on the color, change the color to gray, good. Oh, oh, you can make lots of different patterns, okay. So then click edit it again, <clears throat> face, click on this green. I didn't realize it was that pretty pattern there. I might want to use that. You know what? I'm going to change those ones out in the lobby. Let me go with, I like blue, yeah, let me go with gray and blue. All right, so then I can take this. I've already renamed it, and I'm going to go out to my lobby. Okay, so as you can see, there is errors on the floor. Well, now that I know that I can change these and see if they're editable, I don't know. But you can see these ones are gray, and this one here is just blue and gray, so they're, they're even solid colors. But where I want to place this one is way over here because I have, I'm setting up a social simulation for social cues and social interactions. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm just going to go to recent um, signage arrow, gray social, put it down here, and then lower in the floor. So people will see this arrow and say, okay, what's over in this direction? They don't have to travel all that distance. I might even want to move that back a little bit. I have to travel this far to read what it says. So they know that if they travel in that direction, they're going to social cues and conversation training area. You can see this sign over here. So it's a little social area. And in this area, I have crowd noise. It's louder. Different social things. I'm going to put up some questions, some prompts. I have my scripted parrot here, and he has a sound violin. But also, we have the owl here that I purchased that is a bot as well. So then we can talk. And I just forgot I don't have my computer sound on, so you probably can't hear the, the chatter in the background or the noise. Let me pause for a second here. Okay, so where I'm not recording the computer noise, I don't know if you can hear the, the crowd noise in the background, but it kind of just gives you an idea that's how you can do some signage. All right. Thank you again for watching. I hope this was helpful.